okay? Hope you're all right, you've had a nice day. I feel like I need a step. I do, because I can't. This bag's big, my back, honestly, my back is killing. Do you know what? Even just going up and down stairs now, I get a shooting pain going up my back. I don't know what it is, but it's driving me mad. The kids are on the trampoline, if you can hear them. I don't know how they're playing out on the trampoline because it's bloody freezing. I feel like since September hit, like it's just changed. My kids are absolutely taking the piss out of me. They're pretending to be YouTubers. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, Mason. the shopping <laughs> oh my god my back oh laughing then my back it's just really hurt anyway i have done a bit of shopping so i'm going to show you all my bits and bobs I have a bit of a catch up i hope you're all right you've had a nice day have my big bargains sack for all me big shop anyway so yeah i'll show you my bits and i've got a degusta box as well which arrived yesterday so we'll have a look what's in there as well anyway i'll get on with it now so if you want to stick around really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i shall get on with it I'll try and remember the prices but i ain't not forgetting so i do know these were 69p though so yeah a big bag 69p you know you get the small ones like that for a quid you may as well go in the frozen section and get a big bag they've got broccoli as well and sweet corn a little bit more pricey sweet corn is but you end up going through more doing the tins do you know what i mean so yeah i've got some broth there not broth there green beans and then all the frozen bits so these were a quid just for a bag of chips and then these are £1.49 they'll have like chips nuggets and beans one day steve's already had one of these i don't know the price he put them in so around about a quid i'd say about a quid for three uh chocolate trifles so they sound quite nice and then a uh, garlic bread well, garlic will get stick they were about 32p each i know mason already had one of these so yeah these are the um what you call it fancy split pots so yeah three banana chocolate flakes and three vanilla they're really nice these are proper nice the right one fifty there and then some mayo as well the best mayo i say this all the time don't i but it is it's the best mayo and then um these so like fake twixes 65p i also grabbed some eggs i've just dropped them and they're all intact still so so i grabbed them and then some biscuits as well so um what i'm trying to say sometimes like it don't come out so milk chocolate digestive digestives and then uh chocolate chip cookies as well these were like 44p and these are about 50p so you know they're quite cheap and they're just they taste exactly the same as the fancy brand so honestly you know save your money i did get a lot of tins like tins that i wouldn't usually buy all right i've seen a tiktok video and i was like i might try this so somebody had bought like um what was it they'd bought um like tinned stewing steak stew stewing steak i was gonna say stewing steak fucking hell tinned tinned stewing oh you know what i mean all right the steak in a tin with gravy and that and they'd put it on a potato and i thought do you know what that looks amazing okay that looks amazing so i bought a few bits myself i've got some cornflakes as well because i've got loads of dark chocolate in so i'm gonna make like cornflake cakes with the kids as soon as i've filmed this but yeah tins that's only like 50p 55p for a massive box of cornflakes you know that's crazy so i'm gonna make the cornflake cakes but um, these are like £1.35 a tin. So chili con carne, don't know how they're going to be. It's not something I usually buy. But I thought, you know what, fuck it. And I've got some beef ravioli because they do like that. And then there is a couple of tins. So there's, oh, meatballs. Meatballs on toast, you know, or meatballs and chips or something. Do you know what I mean? Just simple, cheap, easy meals. And then corned beef because Steve makes... I will get him to show you one day. Steve makes a really nice corned beef dinner. So yeah, a couple of tins of that. I was looking through the cupboards and I thought, I don't actually have that many tins in. Like I'll buy 
I don't know, a pack of four baked beans to last the week, but I don't have anything, you know, funky in. So I thought, right, I've got some Irish, Irish stew, get words out. So honestly, I just don't know how it's gonna be. So if anyone's tried it, let me know. But on a jacket potato for pure ease, this is like gonna stock up my tin cupboard because it is, you know, dead, my tin cupboard. There's fuck all in it. So I ain't got a tin cupboard specifically. It's like my tinny area. Um, chicken soup. So I've got some chicken soup and some bran flakes. I've got some dilute squash as well. So I'll grab some of that. I've got broccoli as well. So that looks like it's on the turn, that does, doesn't it? I have to use that in the next few days. It's not funny, it doesn't look funny, but it looks like it's going a bit lighter. I've already got some carrots in. I like doing carrot mash, like a bit lumpy still. It's I know it sounds horrible, but a bit of salt and pepper and like don't fully mash it. It's really nice, I think, anyway. Granny Smith's 99p. I've got this, which is pineapple and coconut. You know, just take all my taste buds in the evening. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've got some um, cranberry juice as well, which was about 70p. And then, these so a bit of uh mr kipling but not so mr kipling so um yeah angel slices they are got some potatoes as well so these are baking potatoes because the actual loose baking potatoes were tiny so these were a quid for a big bag and you know with all my tins i thought right so yeah another chili con carne i thought cause if we like it it's in there tomato soup so steve's got chicken the kids didn't want soup. Steve's got chicken, I've got um, tomato. And then this is what I mean. Stuff like this, look. It's different. Do you know what I mean? Hot chicken curry. I've got stuff like beans. Uh, another another tin of corned beef. And um, tuna. So for pasta bakes, sandwiches, that kind of thing. On top of a jacket potato. And then uh, some rice. Steve is quite a fan of rice. So... Yeah, I can't stand the stuff. But yeah, beans and stuff now. So, you know, just stocking up. They don't like spaghetti hoops. That's the one thing that they just, they'll leave it on their plate. So but that is everything from Lidl. I just went in really. I wanted to get like my tins and just cocking words like my tins and stuff. This is amazing from Heron. All right, only a quid. Okay. And as somebody that doesn't really eat meat. Okay, crunchy tray bake, garden vegetables, it says, with signature crumfish fillets. So I've got two of them to try. Heron really comes through with like the vegetarian options and pescatarian options, you know. So I got these, they were two for a pound. There is another one somewhere. There it is. They were two for a pound. Tyler loves this kind of thing. So yeah, they are McVitie's um, toasting waffles. So yeah, two for a quid to bargain. Got some crisps. And then uh, this is what I was on about, 29p now. Paxo Southern Fried Bread, crumb, bre bre <laughs> bread Crumbs. Yes, and from Lidl, you can, I mean, I've got a pack in the freezer, but you can get a, uh, like a tray of drumsticks and thighs and that for like £1.50, you know, and it's really nice. Put your salt and pepper on and your bread crumbs and stuff in honey. All right, turned out amazing because I didn't have any like egg wash or anything. I didn't have any eggs at the time. So yeah, I just poured honey on, stuck these on, stuck to like fucking glue, you know, and really good. I don't know if the neighbors are in the garden. <laughs> right in the eye line. And I'm like, yeah, Nutella. <laughs> what is she doing? Two for a pound, these are really nice. So they're two for a pound at Heron. Another two for a pound deal. Is the Heinz vegan mayo. And the last, oh, the last bits that I got from Heron were these Nando's. I got a medium and hot little Nando sauces. You know, like with the fish bake, so I'd have like, you know, this broccoli and, you know, a nice sauce with it. So, you know. But um, yeah, I didn't get like meat or anything because I've got a pack of drumsticks in the freezer. I've got sausages, you know, I've got a whole chicken. I've got that reduced actually. I've got a whole chicken reduced. I think I've got it for like £1.50. So I don't really need that kind of thing. I just need to stock up like, it was just tins mainly. I feel like you can see me now. I don't have to like tiptoe. I do want a bar stool still. I haven't looked for one to be honest, but you know if one catches my eye, I'll, you know, grab it if it's cheap enough. This is the Gusto. So they've kindly sent me their box. It's kind of like glossy box, but with food. So, you can have it as a one-off, 
or constant, you know, and they send out like new foods. There could be new ones in there from the shop that have like just come out, trialing new foods sort of thing, like brands and that. Um, a mixture of everything. There's usually a theme, you know, and it exceeds the price of the content. The content exceed the price of the actual box. So this one is family sharing. So first off some of these. So these are brioche buns with chocolate and hazelnut filling. So they look quite nice. Might be easier to show you off like this, everything. So there is some chicken teriyaki noodles. They look quite nice. And then, oh, there's some chocolate. So this is, it says Don Choco, rich and creamy dark milk chocolate. There's three of them. So very nice. There is, oh my God, is that crave? My kids are going to be over the moon. Especially when they see that I've got bloody bran flakes and they'll see these, they'll be well chuffed. This is Dr. Will's all natural miso tahini dressing. Very nice. That's another one to add to my uh, fridge of sauces. <laughs> We've got a snazzy bedtime tea. And then there is, oh my God, Weetabix on the go. So this is a breakfast drink. Very nice. And then what flavour is this? Cookies and cream. Oh my God, the kids are going to be over the moon. They are. Bless them. This is, yeah, Crave cookies and cream. They're going to love that. So yeah, like I said, it tells you everything on here. It tells you what's in the box and stuff. There's something, oh my God. It's very lazy garlic. Now I do like garlic. I love garlic, but I don't know if the lazy version just has a bit of a different taste and don't taste as fresh. I don't know if I've tried it before and thought that, I can't remember, but for some reason, I've got it in my head that it didn't taste the same as like proper fresh garlic. But if it helps, because chopping garlic drives me insane. I don't know if it's like the, um, the wetness it's in. Like I like just fresh garlic, but you know, it's nice to have in you know and it's quite expensive that stuff i'm sure it's about two quid a jar so yeah very lazy garlic for very lazy people like me because <laughs> I, I can be quite lazy it pisses me off chopping garlic to be honest there are some coconut macaroon flavored hobnobs i do like a hobnob five calories per pouch there's four pouches very nice nasty gusto so i'm very thankful to have received that and um i now need to pack all this away so it's also a one pound off for the uh, Dr. Wills as well. It's got a recipe on there. Very nice. I'm gonna pack this away now, but I have got a giveaway going on. So I will link that video below with all the details in if you did wanna have a little look and check it out. So um, yeah, I'm giving away a TK Maxx candle, a load of chocolate. I'm gonna make up like a nice box and um, the Barbie collaboration glossy box. So, yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll link it all below. But um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening, won't y'all? And um, yeah, as always, my friends, don't let any dickheads get you down, all right? Absolutely fucking amazing. I'm going to burp. I can't speak because I feel like I'm going to burp. I love y'all. Know you worth. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.